Facebook is trying to delete me. Big Tech is trying to delete us, our movement. We must stop them. You are smart. Long ago, you stopped believing in the corrupt corporate media. You canceled the newspapers and cable shows and began reading your news from social platforms. Dominant on those platforms were conservative voices, like mine. We are the Americans who did not have a voice in traditional media. Honestly, do you think the left wants me to have a platform to speak? But I can have a voice, here, on my own social platforms. I can be heard. That freedom infuriates the left, who used to own complete control over our information. So they hatched a plan to silence me and all of us conservatives. And Facebook is paying them for it. Here is how it works. In 2016, hysterical liberals had to find someone to blame for their humiliating loss to Donald Trump. In their minds, they could not possibly have lost due to their own horrendous candidates or policies or their own failing message, so they attacked the one thing that they did not have total control over, social media companies. They applied extreme pressure to silence or censor fake news, which was just a fancy way of saying news that they don't like. Facebook bent to that pressure and created a fact checker network with godlike powers over all of us. Here is how Facebook fact checking works. A website you have never heard of, run by partisan beta leftists, stalk the pages of your favorite conservative personalities. Whenever we say anything they disagree with, these fact checkers write a vicious partisan hit piece. Then they harass us and our audience by slapping hazardous warning labels on what we have posted. Many times, those labels say, missing context or disputed. Yes, thanks Facebook. Every political argument in America is disputed. Every argument is indeed missing some context. But the insanity continues. These hack checkers, as I like to call them, would be just an annoyance, but Facebook gives them the ability to destroy the reach of our content so we cannot communicate with you. They demonetize our pages so we can't make a living producing content for our audiences. And here is the breathtaking part. Most of these fact checks are pure partisan bile. They are false, fake, untrue. But there is no recourse for your favorite conservative creators. We are held at gunpoint by these partisan hacks. And Facebook is giving them the gun. This is why I am suing the Facebook fact checkers. I'm suing them on behalf of you, your favorite creators and news sites, on behalf of our freedom of speech and thought. So who are these hack checkers? Well, I'm suing a site called Lead Stories. Lead Stories is run by a former CNN employee of 26 years who makes a living cannibalizing and slandering conservative content and creators. His website has published disputed, fake news stories, including one that went after my content personally. And so I'm going after him personally. Here is an important question. Who funds Lead Stories? According to their own masthead, Lead Stories is funded by Facebook and Google, along with ByteDance. And what is ByteDance? It's a Beijing-based company that owns the TikTok spyware app. Our own Justice Department says the company is a national security threat and compromised by the Communist Party of China. Facebook, then, is paying for fact-checkers funded by an arm of the Communist Party of China to censor my content here in America. The Communist Party of China has more say over my content than the First Amendment. This is insanity. It's un-American. It's dangerous and it needs to stop. This is why I am fighting. Our freedoms are at stake. Our movement is at stake. We know these battles are taking place all over the world. Do you wish to support me in my efforts against these hack checkers? Well, the easiest thing you can do right now is share this video. If you wish to donate in support, you can head to www.factcheckzuck.com. We will fight and we will win.